Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and uh, I'm in my new video in Salesforce integration. The topic for today's video is that how to integrate Google Sheet with Salesforce. So in this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step implementation of integrating Google Sheets with Salesforce and we'll be going to have a look at how can we perform the DML operations on a Google Sheet from using a Google Sheet into Salesforce. So for this, we require some connectors and we, we need to have a Google Sheet, a Google account and Google Sheet you need to prepare first of all. And we'll be requiring one Salesforce, Salesforce account. So I got both of them. I'm ready with both the things. So let me share my screen now. And the first thing, as you can see, that's my spreadsheet I have created. That's a Google Sheet, and I have added a couple of records with four columns. So there are four columns, name, email, experience, phone number. So these are the four fields I have created. And the Salesforce data set, which I'm using right now, so the Salesforce data set, which I'm using right now, that's my Salesforce data set, where it's a recruitment application. There's a candidate object. And my objective is to, my requirement is to add records into this or insert the records into this and candidate object using Google Sheet. So let's see how to do that. In order to do this, the first thing we have to do is we have to set up and install connector in our Google Sheet. So how do we do that? Let's have a look. So for this, what we have to do, uh, for this, what we'll be doing is, uh, we'll just quickly first click on extensions. In extensions, I click on add-ons and there's an option called get add-ons. I click on get add-ons. And when you click on get add-ons, here, here we have to select Salesforce connector. So just look for Salesforce connector and you will find out data connector for Salesforce. It is published by Google Cloud. So we'll be going to use this. If it is not installed in your in, in your uh, in your Google Drive in your browser, we have to install it. But if it is already installed, we have to simply log in and use it. So as you can see, it is not installed right now. And what's the use of the Salesforce connector? Not uh, we can use the Salesforce connector to perform to import the reports or custom data queries from Salesforce into Sheets or make changes to Salesforce directly from the sheet. It's a vice versa. So we can perform. We can extract the data, we can export the data from Salesforce into Google Sheet, or we can import the data back into Salesforce from Google Sheet. So let me let me click on install, continue. And uh, I'm going to install this. I'll just use my Gmail account to sign up. And here we have to give permission to this. So I just click allow. And the connector will get installed. It will take a few minutes. So as you can see, it has been installed successfully. I click on done and close this. And now we'll, we'll just cross check whether connector is installed or not. So I click on extension once again, and you can see the Salesforce connector has been installed successfully. So I click on open. And when we click on open, what it will do, it will establish uh, like when we click on open, so it's working and it's going to uh, it's going to connect with our uh, it's going to connect with our Salesforce account. So as you can see, uh, I got a small pop up here. It says data connector for Salesforce and it's checking the add-ons connection. So let's let it let it uh, run successfully. First of all, let it open. Now, as you can see, it's saying that okay, uh, here's an option. If we want the connection information, we can check the connection information. Salesforce organization, and you can see, okay, so as you can see, it is already connected to my existing Salesforce connection. So it's, it's already connected to my existing Salesforce connection, whereas the current, uh, the current account, which I'm using right now, my current Salesforce account, my, my current Salesforce account is this one, which I'm using right now, that is a different account. As you can see, that's a different, that's a different account, and it is connected to a different account. Okay, and it is connected to a different account. So I just disconnect from the, uh, the previous one and I'm going to set up a connection once again. So I'll just say uh, open, open.
open and we need to establish a connection once again you can see now as you can see what it is saying it didn't ask me for the credentials why it didn't ask me for the credentials because it quickly detect the salesforce uh, the, the salesforce subscription which is up and running so as you can see my salesforce account my salesforce subscription already opened here this one this one this already up and running so therefore what happened it didn't ask me for like it didn't ask me for the credentials the credentials are already available so i we have to authorize it i click on authorize and you can see the same salesforce account this is the same salesforce account as you can see this one which we will be using here so mit 120 that's the same one clear that so it asking for authentication as you can see it's asking for authorization and what i have to do here i have to authorize it see that's the same salesforce account so i have to authorize it and i click on allow and it says you can close this page so i can close this page and get back to my spreadsheet and you can see it's connected to my spreadsheet now and i'm getting these option import data from a salesforce report we can import update delete or refresh I don't want to import the data. I want to update the data. Actually, I just want to insert the record. So I click on update, and uh, we'll just check all the operations one by one. So first of all, I'm doing an update here, and see, it says it's through an error message. We have to select a valid date range. So these are the records which we want to insert it. So I just select these. Uh, I just select the records which I want to insert and refresh the selected range. and in which object i just wanted to add this into candidate object so i just look for candidate object i want to perform insert update or uh, insert or update i'm just going with insert operation the result column will be e it means if any record get fail if any issue occur the result will up, the result will displayed in this column e next in next step we have to do the mapping it makes sure that it maps successfully so name it's not a number actually it's a candidate name it's a full name so i'll just going i'm just selecting full name that's a field called full name and email will be email id experience is experience and phone number is phone number field and click and uh, i just want to <clears throat> i just want to uh, include all the columns so i select all the columns and click on execute and yes i want to insert nine records and once the record get inserted we will get an update we will get the output in the same excel the same drive actually same google sheet that the record has been inserted successfully you can see all record inserted successfully let's go and verify this so i'll get back to my account see right now it is showing 16 records but when i refresh now i got uh, okay so that's a 16 records and the record has inserted successfully actually and we can do one thing create a date So I'll just sort this in a as a created date. So we have Sam, Mike, Peter, Paul. Sam, Mike, Peter, Paul, James. So the record inserted successfully. Now my next requirement is I just wanted to fetch the record. Basically, my requirement is I just want to export the record in a drive. So let's do one thing. How to do that? Let me do one thing. Let me delete all the records. Let me clear this. and uh, let me delete this as well delete column and let's export it so extension salesforce connector open this connector and now it's time to export the data in our excel workbook so let's have a look how do we do that and uh, i just want to perform an export operation so i select export import the data from salesforce into sheet using a custom query and from which object from from candy date object we have a sql editor we can see sql editor there is a sql editor 
and we can write a query. So for example, we just want to fetch. So I just write select name comma full underscore name underscore underscore T from candidate underscore underscore T, for example. That's why, so, so I'm just fetching only name and full name. We have more columns, but I'm just fetching only, uh, I'm just fetching only this one, right? <clears throat> Click on execute. And you can see I got the record. I fetched the record, name and full name. If you want to fetch more, we have an option. So we have a SOQL editor, or else what we can do, if we don't want to use SOQL editor, then what we can do, we can just select the object, candidate object, next. And in candidate, or what fields we want actually. So I just want to select all the fields and click on next. And uh, uh, I just select, and what it says, it says add filter condition, no condition. Candidate number, uh, okay. And I just say no condition actually. Is there any condition? No condition. And get data. See this, we got all the records. Like this way, we can quickly fetch the records from the object. So with the help of the connectors, we can perform insert, update, delete. We can do refresh also. For example, if you want a manual refresh or you want auto refresh, we have option. We have a manual refresh. So for we can perform the manual refresh for the current sheet data. We can refresh it. That's a manual refresh. Or what else we can do? We can automate this. We can schedule that. Okay, it's, it has been refreshed. Or else what I can do is we can perform an auto refresh spreadsheet so we can set. So I just wanted to refresh the data for after every four hours. So it means after every four hours, it will extract the updated data from the candidate object with the connected source and display the output here. So if you want, we can create that. So that's the way we can use the Salesforce connector. We can use the Salesforce connector. Uh, we can integrate Salesforce connector with uh, using, uh, like we can integrate Google Sheet with Salesforce using Salesforce connector. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button. If you have some queries, you can contact to us. If you want a customized training on Salesforce, any of the module, you can reach out to us on www.aitech1.com or you can contact us on the below numbers. Don't forget to post your comments and press the bell icon to get the update about the more videos, latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.